Hey everyone, welcome to All Techies. I'm Pankaj Rai and in today's video, I'm going to talk about how can you handle error in the text field. Well, text field is one of the most commonly used UI component across the application. You might have seen this in the login page, search functionality and many other places. Now, the biggest factor here is how should you handle error for the entered values? Is it like when user taps on some button, you show an alert dialog or you show a toast message or even a snack bar? But how about moving one step forward than this approaches? How about showing the error message? right below the text field and with Jetpack Compose. Now we have a dedicated support for this. So if you are using Mate 3.1.0, which is currently in the RC version, then you will get this functionality out of the box. Well, in today's video, we are going to see how can we handle error right below the text field by showing some sort of error message to the user. So let's head over to the main activity. And here, let's create another composable. Let me name this as demo. Or rather text field demo. Now, my prime objective here is to showcase in case of any error, some text should come right below the text field. So for that, I need two state object. One, because for the text field, we'll need an state object as user enters any character. We want to update the text field too. For that, we need one state object. And the second state object is to observe whether there is an error or not. So let's create two state object. First, we'll say username. By remember, here let me say this mutable state of an empty string. Another state object to showcase is error in username by remember mutable state of false so eventually we are saying that this username doesn't have any error because we are setting this default value to false and for the username we are setting it to the empty string so that we'll able to see the hint as soon as this UI pops out. Now, instead of an ordinary text field, let's try to have an outline text field. With this, we get a text field which is having the boundaries too. Now, let's update these values. So for value, we are going to write username and on value change. I'm going to say username equals to it. Also, let's provide label and placeholder. Well, label is nothing but the hint that will be shown for this outline text field. Now, the placeholder, well, placeholder is a sort of a description that you can provide for the text field. Say for example, this text field is for username. Then for placeholder, I can say like enter your email address. So when this outline text field doesn't have any focus, then label is shown as a hint. And whenever it gains the focus, that means cursor is visible, then this label will float up and it 
place will be occupied by the placeholder text. So eventually username will come on top and enter your email address will come as a hint. Now the next thing is to handle error. Well for that we have another parameter with supporting text. Here we can provide a text. Say let me enter this as enter a valid email address. Now the thing is that all this lambda gets executed one after the other but we do not want this to get executed and show enter a valid email address right from the beginning. So what should we do here? Well, we can add an if condition is error in username. Whenever this is true, then only show this text. Otherwise, do not show this text. And finally, let's update the is error parameter with is error in username. That's it. We are good to go. The only thing which is remaining is when should we update this object? So for that, we can head over to on value change. At this place, we can check out for whether the username which user is entering is actually a valid email ID or not. Let's write a logic to check whether the email ID is valid or not. So for that, we can say patterns dot email address dot matcher username dot matches. And then we can directly assign this to is error in username equals to. Well, if it is a valid email ID, then it will return true. But our objective is to show true when there is error in username. That means when email address is wrong. So let's put not at the end. Well, that's it. Now let's add a modifier to. Let this occupy the entire width of the screen. Also, we'll place this inside, say, column. Because eventually when you create UI, you may be having some sort of UI component one below the other. So just for that, let's put this inside column where we'll just have text field demo as of now. Now let's run and check this out. Okay, so here comes the UI. We have username. And when I tap on this username outline text field, this label will float up and this hint will get replaced with enter your email address. So let me tap on this. Well, here it is. As this takes the focus, username has floated up and placeholder has occupied the place of hint. Now let's try writing some character. Let me say this as A, B and C. Well, you can see it's giving a message that enter a valid email address. That's because this check fails. It's not a proper email ID and we get this message. Now, let me write a correct email ID. So for that, let's write gmail.com. So here it is. Now, as pattern says that this is correct email ID, we do not see any error message. And the moment it says it's invalid, entire box goes red text comes in red color which shows that there is an error in this particular text field. 
Well, so far what you have seen is how to handle error in the text field. Now, how about the optimization? Well, let's revisit the code base. In the outline text field, with on value change, we are trying to check each and every time whether it is the correct email ID or not, doesn't matter it updates this state and as it updates this state this outline text field has to get recomposed that many number of time too so how about if we restrict this that only change the value when it is either true or false say for example now when i wrote a b and c well ABC is not a correct email ID but for A it will recompose for B again it will recompose with false value for C again recompose with false value and this goes on so how to avoid this well to handle this what we can do is that instead of using mutable state of for is error in username we can use derived state of and in this place we can replace this part we can make this val because now we are not changing this value anymore what it eventually does is that whenever username changes which is changing from on value change it will try to get the value out of this if the state is same that means if it is false then it just give us the value only one time and once the state changes that means from true to false it again gives us an updated value so by this way we can avoid recomposition for the duplicate values like the series of false 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 was recomposing this outline text field earlier but now series of false 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 will just recompose once and that false changes to true will again recompose this outline text field let's check this out well so here it is we have username which is coming right at the red at the initial stage because it first went to username then it read that username which is an empty string try to figure it out whether it's a valid email address or not it says no it's not so eventually it gives this is error as true and eventually we see this enter a valid email address there's a very small fix for this but let's check out whether it is working even or not so if i write a proper email id do this error will go away or not let's check out so a b c at the rate gmail dot com okay so here it is you can see error no longer persist well in order to tackle the initial issue of everything coming red in color so if you remember then earlier when we have used this is error in username with mutable state of we set the default value as false in a similar way here you can use the if condition and can check out like if username is empty then return false otherwise proceed with the pattern check well here is the ui now you can see we no longer have that issue where username was coming all in red color before because of this condition well that's it for this video where i have talked about how you can handle error in the text field using supporting text and not just this we have seen how to do this in an effective manner using derived state of 
Well, if you have liked this video, then please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe this channel. Thank you and stay tuned.